Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is eFenix N once again, and I am bringing you Conquering Prime or Prime or whatever it's called, 2.0. We're getting, uh, getting the show on the road, and see if we can take out these convicts and just rip them a new one, see what we can do here. It's going to be fun. Alright. Of course I start out this fantastic segment with a loading screen, which is... Count on the hell. The hell you? Oh, I stole from you, didn't I? <laughs> I'm a traitor, primarily. What you got to say, buddy? You got a camera and that. I'll get the duct tape. I need to find a place where I can pull up some of the shit I don't need. Alright. Anything? I don't have any money, so. Alright. I didn't think there was actually going to be people here that made it. I think they were all, they were all going to be like convicts and shit, but I guess not. I'll come back to this place later. I thought they were going to be attacked by a bunch of bandits and shit, but I guess that is not the way it's going to be. So I'm going to find some people to kill. To cleanse. Cleanse Prim of all the evil that proliferates this lovely little town of cheating people out of their money via card games and stuff. Alright, let's do it. I wonder what's in here. We'll see. What is this? Open the Bison Steve Hotel. Maybe they're hidden up in here. Only you can prevent corporate espionage. Or forest fires. You know, you want to kick sand out on that water, because that means it doesn't. <laughs> Joking. Alright. You're gonna die. I think I like your hat. You know what that means? I'm gonna blast your head off and steal it. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I love... I didn't like it that much. I think I like the one I got now better. Pack of cigs. I don't need any whiskey. Alright. I do like some Jim Beam, though. Alright, let's get some light on this beast. Anything in here? Oh, there you are. Oh! Oh! Miss me! Miss me! Miss me! Miss me! Oh, damn, got me there. <laughs> I wonder if this is the main hangout of these guys. Money! 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 Hey, I leveled up. Look at that. What do I got here? I want me to get some barter up. Guns, lockpick, it's big. Um, we're gonna go with. Uh, shit, repair. I haven't done that yet. Alright. I think I'm level 3 or 4 now. I don't even know. What do I get? No! Oh, miss me. Miss me. Oh, got me there. I like how these guys don't have armor because it's so easy to kill them. It seems kind of ridiculous that I. Um, I died the first time I went through this because these guys are pretty easy. But then again, I didn't have any weapons, and I had like pretty much no ammo either. Yeah, give me that tire iron, jackass. Die, you piece of shit. See, I think it's interesting. Oh, dead. Oh, I was gonna say, I think it's interesting how I shoot a guy in the head, and somehow his armor affects that. Like, I understand you have armor on, but at the end of the day, you having leather armor on your chest does not exactly help you out when I shoot you in the face. Just putting that one out there. Alright, let's see what's in here. I think half the fun with this game is just like, what can I possibly find in these places that it's of use to me? This is another tire iron? Nope, he is. An escape time of meter. This cake is kind of leader that's dead. No, leave it. Oh shit, I need health. Ah. Let's see, purify water would be good. Some pack, some pack. Let's get some noodles too. Some dynamite as well. There's a guy over here, isn't there? Okay. Oh! Damn. 
damn. Rip that mother. Uh, ah, crap. Okay. Let's see what I plan. Alright. Alright, you go fast. all these RPGs where you can choose good and evil, I'm almost always evil. Or, sorry, my bad. I'm almost always good. I'm weirdly in the sense that I just, I don't feel that much need to be evil. I think it's almost a little bit passive aggressive. Not like crazy, like not being overly mean about it, but it's one of those things where it's like, really, you really need to, like, I don't know, I think people get a certain satisfaction of being evil because they're good all their like all the time, and so being evil allows them to strange meat pie. That sounds absolutely nasty. But because they're you know maybe good boy lies all the time, there's a certain amount of thrill to. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Being able to. Anyway, but I think it's almost like a little passive aggressive thing. Wait, it's like horror movies. You know, you feel better because you're scared afterwards because it gives you a certain thrill. This is like you can be evil, so it gives you a, a thrill. Oh, that's just fine. I think I'll be making my way outside now. Alright. <laughs> I'm not that mean. Oh, well, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. Uh, I... Alright, fine, whatever. You know, I feel like messing with you anyway. All these guys, they don't end up being comic cocktail like some painters. I'll take it. Alright. Let's see, what else is going on here? I think this is about the time where I'm going to end it after I freed Beagle. I don't know what the hell Beagle is doing, but I'm, there's probably some type of quest in that. Quests surrounding that, but. I am actually going to bail on you guys, and I will come back a little later and talk with you once again. Alright, peace guys, see you later.